Hi, this is Tim Von Rieden with CGCookie.com, and in this quick tip, I'm going to go through creating, saving, and loading custom brushes in Photoshop. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so in Photoshop, I'm going to go ahead and create a new document. I'm going to name it Brush. I'm going to keep my 500 by 500 settings because it's easier to create a custom brush when the width and the height are at the same. I'm going to keep my resolution at 300 and choose OK. So I'm going to choose F to full screen it and I'm going to hold space and I'm going to grab my image and put it in the corner. Okay. So Photoshop's preset brushes could pretty much be used to create an entire piece. So even their standard circle brushes, which are the very basic of brush, can be used for an entire piece. But sometimes if you want more of a textured or um, something more than just a circle hard edge, this is where a, um, a custom brush will come into play. So there are two ways to create a custom brush into Photoshop. So the first way is one where we don't have to create a new layer and we don't have to draw anything out. All we have to do is play with the brush settings. And if I open up my brush window, which can also be found if I go under window and then brushes, this is the menu that will pop up. And this is the very standard um, brush menu. So if I go through each of these, they each have their own separate options and things that you can play with. And I definitely recommend going through each of them and seeing what each of them does because I'm only giving a basic overlay of how to create a brush, not going into the actual menu. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my brush tip shape. I'm going to go ahead and grab this black dot and grab it and have it touch the other one at the bottom. And what that'll do is it'll flatten your brush. So, the, so if you see if I go horizontally, it becomes a very thin line. But then when I go vertically, it's a very thick um, line. So what I can do from here is I can then change other things, like I can turn scattering on. If scattering's on, now when I lay it on, it became, becomes more of like a staticky effect. And I can edit the amount of scatter, and I can edit the amount of counts as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and turn my other dynamics on as well. And that'll affect pretty much the harder you push down on your tablet, the thicker and harder the color will lay down. But then the softer, the less opacity you're going to have laid out as well. So now, the last thing I'm going to do is if I'm going to, I'm going to go to my brush tip shape. I'm going to go to shape dynamics, and I'm going to turn my angle jitter on. And I'm going to have that on with my pen pressure. I'm going to turn it about halfway up. And what that will do is it will affect the angle at which the brush is being laid down. So if I lay it down, you can see how it's becoming a very... Um, spiky, icicle looking kind of a brush. So I can go through and I can edit things even more. But for now, if I finally found a place where I feel like this is a good brush that I want to save, what I would do is I would go to this blue rectangle with the black arrow pointing down and I would click it which opens up your brush menu and these are all the current brushes that you're allowed to use. So now if I click on this post-it note if I just name it um, New Brush, choose OK, it'll appear as the very last one in your selection. And if you want to change that, click on the Play Looking button in the top right corner, go to Preset Manager, and from here you can grab that brush and place it wherever you want. But for now I'm going to keep it right there, and I'm going to choose Done. So now I have that brush to, ready to use whenever I need it. So that was the first way of creating a brush, and the second way is if I create a new layer, because I'm going to be pretty much saving out this layer as a brush. So let's say I lay down this brush, but I'm going to do it in black. Let's say I wanted this to be my custom brush. To save this, you would go to Edit, Define Brush Preset. Now I'm going to name it New Brush 2. Now what this will do, you can see how the circle edge, the sampler, turned into that very spiky looking edgy look that we just made. And if I go into my brush menu again, you can see how it appears as the very last one. But now if I try to go and lay this brush out, it's very solid and it doesn't have any of the settings that 
um, we have to play with first. So after we have the brush saved out in here, we can select it, and then we can go ahead and edit, edit the settings that it has. So if all I wanted was a simple shape and opacity on it, like that, all I would have to do from here is then go to that brush menu again and then click the post-it note. So now when I saved it out, um, it, it'll look exactly the same, but if you toggle between the two, you can see how this one doesn't have any of the settings selected while this one has them saved out. So then from here, I can go into my preset manager and delete that one that we don't want. Choose done. And there we go. So those are our two new brushes. So now say you have this whole brush panel and you wanted to save all these brushes out in case something happens and you want to reload them. All you do is you go click that play button and you could either go to your preset manager or go straight to save brushes. So I'm going to save these as January 2012. I'm going to save it to my desktop. So now if I go to my desktop, you can see that they're right there. And if I ever needed to um, load them again, what I would do is I would go to file, or no, no, I would go into that brush menu, go to the play button, and choose load brushes. So if I go to my desktop and choose January 2012, you can see how they reloaded all the same brushes that I had before. And I'm going to delete those out because I do not need um, a duplicate of the entire selection. So I'm going to go ahead and delete those and done. Okay, so that was just a quick look at how to create, save, and load a custom brush in Photoshop. I hope you learned something and thanks for watching.